Hello Turbo Oven Coffee Roasters. I have here two popper bases that I'm going to compare for you. The first is from Presto. I believe this was the Orville Redenbacher unit. And the second is the famous Stir Crazy from West Bend. Um, so I'm going to show you their differences and how those differences affect their ability to roast coffee. I'm also going to show you a test agitation with some beans. Um, so to start off with, these units are obviously not stock. So I've ripped off Peter Schmidt's design on the Stir Crazy almost completely. Sorry, Peter. So I've done a two inch aluminum riser ring with the handy chaff flap. I've replaced the stir arm and I've also done the anchor bolt modification to the plastic drive arm. On the Presto, I've all I've done really is to replace the plastic cap with a metal hex nut and a few washers. And over here I have a thermocouple that I installed coming up through the base of the unit, but it's not relevant for today's discussion. So the most important difference between the two that I feel is the size. So if I take this dividers here, I'm going to show you the distance, the place where on this, the Sir Crazy, the beans will sit. So this is the width of the flat spot in the bottom of the pan between the outer wall and this interior hump. I can transfer this over to the Presto and it's actually the same exact size. So in theory, you have the same space for your beans. Um, but as we're going to see later, the beans tend to pile up in the middle because there's no slope for them to, there's no slope in the middle for them to go away from. So now I'm going to show you the motors um, followed by an agitation. So I'm going to flip them on. Hello. This one was stuck. Weird. Anyway. So you can see how the Presto's motor is quite a bit slower. Sir Crazy has a decent pace to it. Um, I, I assume this is because they're just geared differently. Uh, the Presto's motor is a lot stronger than the Sir Crazy's. So on the Presto, you can grab the shaft and the base will just turn and turn and turn. Um, the Sir Crazy, it's not that strong. So if I grab the shaft, it'll just reverse. Um, so Obsensibly, you could see that being a disadvantage, but uh, with me roasting 12 ounces of greens at a time, it really hasn't been a big deal. So let's throw some beans on and see how they do. So before I get started, this is 12 ounces of an Ethiopian Nurgachev. Same bean for both units. So I'll get the middle cleared out. All right, so right away you can see how the Sir Crazy is doing a nicer job. Oop, did you see it reverse? It did. So the Sir Crazy does a nicer job because it rotates a lot faster. Um, you can see how the, the interior of the pan is fairly clear because of the hump. Um, over here on the Presto, it's not doing so hot. So there's lots of beans that pile up towards the center. I would find myself taking off the turbo oven and removing some of them from because they, they tend to get scorched. The beans in about this diameter that don't move around a whole lot, they're directly underneath the turbo oven's infrared. So they, they tend to hit second crack really fast. <coughs> so here goes the stir crazy. I could stand to improve the arm design on the ends. It needs to go down a little bit but it's already producing a much more consistent roast than I could ever get with the Presto, so I'm pretty happy with it. The biggest downside to the Stir Crazy, obviously, is the plastic stir arm. I had an easy time of replacing the, or I'm sorry, of installing the anchor bolt because I'm a wood turner and I could drill a perfectly centered hole right down the middle of the plastic arm, um, but I realize that's not an option for everyone, so perhaps the uh, hex drive might be a better option for you. So there we have it. Um, these two units are, they're both about the same price. I got them on Amazon for around 25 bucks. Um, so if you're in the market for a turbo oven setup, I'd have to go with the Stir Crazy. Um, the arm might be a big deal, or I'm sorry, it might be a pain to modify to get rid of the plastic, but I think that in the end it, it is worth it and it'll give you a better roast.